Hello everybody, my name is Alfay and you are watching my second YouTube video. So there was a photo of this woman I found on Instagram here and it's like this cloudy eleganza, extravaganza elegance and I just want it on my face and my neck. Okay, so basically in the photo she had like purple transitioned into a pink and the only way I can do purple eyeshadow is if I have like a white base underneath. So I'm going in with a NYX Jumbo oh, Pencil Honey. Hello everybody, let the voice record and commence. So, this entire like clip zoom in of the eyeshadow situation, it's like got a blue tint behind it. So you can just like kind of ignore it and imagine it to be more like orange and warm like my personality. <laughs> so after you've packed down that purple in a semi-circle audition position, you can start laying down your pink and start Buffing that in. But now we're going to pick up the purple brush, put some more purple on it and start buffing it into the pink and the purple, submerge it together to get that real gradiency. After you've achieved this look, honey, you're going to start packing it on the outer corner, get that definition. And then you're going to take your first white base that you used and cut out a semicircle because it's all about the abstract shapes, hun. Now you're going to take your white eyeshadow, mine specifically from Superdrug, between you and me. I'm not going to show up, Charlotte Tilbury laughs. Anyway, what am I talking about? So take your, oh my god, the videos go too fast. You're going to set the white base of the white eyeshadow and then blend. I'm going to quickly do the other eye and put on some liner, mascara, lashes, whatever I'm feeling at the moment, to be honest. Bye, um. Bit of a different than I babe, but basically, so I've done like I'll show up close. So it's like liner and then the eyes and then like the lash. Also, here's how the other eye turned out. Do you know what I mean? I thought the liner really went with it because it's quite dramatic, babe. Actually, now looking at that, could be a bit more blended. Last time, you could see my spots through my foundation. So I'm going in with a before pump with like a different foundation before the orange. This one's a bit like this is my winter shade, but I want to like. Oh, and I just want to, like, get that coverage. Okay, so for today, I kind of thought that this concept would be great, would be brilliant. So, I got a paintbrush, and I'm literally just going to, like, paint my face like that. Oh, it's so tickly, but I just thought it would be weird. Now, I'm going to partake in some ASMR. Let's talk about something. So basically, you're going to think I'm a super duper weirdo freak, but I saw this thing on um, the social media platform called Instagram where this woman put pink lipstick on her under eyes because they're like purple to conceal them. So guess what I'm doing today? I'm going to jump off a bridge into a lake. No, I'm doing the same. Or what if my entire under eye turns pink? <gasps> I should have thought this free. I regret it already. Oh no. I'm really super proud of that eye, by the way. Are you proud, Mum? Dad? Dad isn't proud. <laughs> Dad's like, how do you spell eyeshadow? <laughs> then apply a little bit of concealer down. What I've done on the under eye bit, you'll see, there's like two lines. There's one right under my eye and like another like Nike check mark. So the one under my eye 
eye like really under it's more expensive because that's where I want the coverage that's where I want it to not crease that's like the problem area but the white or one where I put on my cheeks is a little bit more like um cheap like it's like two quid and it's just to like give you that highlighted lifted cheeks appearance you don't want to put a 10 pound concealer there it's just going to be a waste of money to be honest so when I'm just tapping that in I also drew a love heart on my forehead because that's what they do on Instagram. I always want to try it out. See, when I'm very much monkey see, monkey do. If someone were to, like, put an eyelash up their nostril and say that it, like, makes them lose weight, I would believe it. Oh, going in with a little bit of bronzer. So basically, I've kind of realised that this makes me look like a horror story person, especially on camera because everything's so dark. On her, it makes her look all like angel and like soft. On me, it looks like I'm a bloody murderer. But one part I did forget, she had this like green in her inner corner. So I'm going to so take this green from this like really cute thing here and I'm going to like place that in here. That's it all. Can you see that? Oh, I can't. But now it looks more summery and soft. Why did it look all dark and intense later? Maybe I have to just keep them walking in and walking out. But this green isn't intense, so I'm gonna have to keep them building this up. And if the green doesn't get to this like intense level of like, <laughs> then I'm gonna like bin it. So that's kind of like the finished like face makeup portion right now. I can like show you an up close of the eye. Here we go. I've got like a sprinkle of get there. I don't know where that came from. And then like she did a glossy lip. Ah, oh, did a glossy lip. And now the next step with her clouds and her body, I low-key clickbaited you because you have to do, well, not you have to, because I'm not an artist, I can't draw clouds to save my life. So I'm going to, like, digitally do that, and I'm going to, like, show you the process here, by. So I'll see you in a second. <gasps> So you're first going to download Facetune, if you haven't got it already, I don't know why you have it. Do you ever have those friends who are like, oh, I look so bad in selfies? Just get Facetune, love. Everyone looks bad in selfies. Just refine it, babe. Anyway, first of all, you're going to go to the paint tool, go to tones, and you're going to get your designated colours. I personally picked green, blue, purple, because that's very, like, galaxy, sky -y. Well, not sky -y. green isn't in the sky, but you know what I mean, like, green's a little bit in the eye look. And I kind of like paste it randomly, splodge it around. After the tones tool, you're going to want to go to the paint tool and go over the edges to ensure seamlessness. Because what the tone does is tones down the actual thing. But the paint goes into like the cracks, the wax, the dax and the lines of the painting face tuning portion. And really like gets in there. But you can be a bit messy with it now. You can rub it out later, babe. Don't worry. And also, this bit's a bit boring. So you can like... Take your two fingers, pinch the video, scroll down a little bit, like it, subscribe and comment. Oh my God, this face turning is so boring. Because it is. And I'm getting bored watching it and I don't know what to say. How is everyone liking Ariana Grande's new album? I really like the breathing song. I like the song about her husband. That's cute. But her husband, Pete Davidson, isn't really funny. I searched up... Pete Davidson, like, best funny moments. And, like, not one thing made me laugh. Like, I might not have much of a sense of humour, don't get me wrong, but his jokes are a bit dead. Like, I don't even know what he's talking about. It was just a bit random, to be honest. And his teeth are, like, the same teeth from that Shrek character. What's his name? Donkey! Donkey! Yeah, basically, his teeth are like donkeys. Well, any old donkey, really, not specifically from Shrek's. Anyway, now I'm just rubbing out the paint, making sure it's not all messy. Now I'm going to crop all of the process of me rubbing this paint out, out, because it's boring. Okay, so then you're going to take this blue bar in the bottom here, and you're going to change the vibrancy and the intensity of the colours. So you want to get it to this point where it's like really quite bold and vibrant, but not too bold and vibrant where it looks edited. Then you're going to try and search for the smooth tool and you're going to blend it all together with that, just very smudging it in. And then you're also going to go, then again go to this glow tool and then really make the photo pop. So when you're scrolling through Instagram, you're going to be like, oh my God, that looks good. And then you're just going to save it to your camera roll, press the home button, babe, and then go to your next 
app, which is Pixar, by the way, in the background, my background is Naomi Smalls, RuPaul's Drag Race season eight. Way, we love her. So you're gonna like open up the photo again and you're gonna scroll to this um, defocus section because I took this photo in the background where it looked like actual horse barn farmyard like it's not really that cute so I like want to defocus it and I am aware that you're probably getting a bit annoyed with me because there's this thing here like you can see from the icons you can just like paint the defocus around the portrait but I didn't realize that until watching this over so I'm sorry baby you can watch me do that after you've done that you want to go scroll <gasps> Scroll to the sticker section, type up cloud, get the cloud, place it all over and like not put it random per se, but you want to um, place it quite straightly and not too bent, but when you do it bent, just like a little bit, because you still want it to like look good. It might not look realistic in any way, shape or form, but you know, you put the effort in, you know, people are still going to double tap on Instagram, just as good babe. Some idiots are probably going to think this is real. Some people are like, oh my god, this is so good. I showed my girl Lily this and she's like, oh my god, Alfie, you're so good at makeup. Honey, no, I just learned how to download Pixar, babe. Thank you everyone for watching, by the way. This is pretty much like the end result. You can do the same thing where you can turn down the F, the ethnicity. No, the intensity. I repeated this process over and over again until this end result. Thanks for watching.